Hello, I'm Brian, and this is a very special edition of Amy News and Conversation. We're here at Amy Exchange 2023, day two in Long Beach, California. Um, I'm here today with a special guest, one of our Michael J. Miller Scholarship winners. Uh, that's through the Amy Foundation. And uh, Guillermo, you're, you're just starting out in the biomedical engineering world, right? Is that right? Yes, I am. Hello, uh, Brian. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, Brian. I'm Guillermo. I'm original from Nicaragua. I... I was studying in St. Clair College in Canada, mm -hmm. and I just recently graduated and got into this exciting world of biomed. Oh, no, that's fantastic. Now, we did a story with, through Amy, I think it was back in 2021 or 2022, a, a, little bit of, a little bit ago, but it was about your journey kind of discovering the HTM field and, uh, you know, what was going on in Nicaragua at the time. But Let's start at the beginning. Your family had a hospital in a small town in Nicaragua to begin with, right? Yes, uh, it's a small hospital. It's around 90 beds, mm -hmm. including ICU uh, through operation rooms. So it's a hospital that started from the scratch. My father just started in, in, in the garage with an x-ray machine. He's a radiologist. Uh -huh. And then we decided to get more people. Um, then another specialist uh, joined him and... Suddenly, so after 20 years of work, he built a hospital in 2016. Wow, wow. So, in 2000, so the time span that I, I knew you were working there from 2016 about to 2018, what were you doing at that time, you know, your day-to-day? -day? My day-to-day, -day, I mean, it's just because it was a family hospital, I yeah. just went around everything. Maintenance, uh, let's say, oh, I was working with HR, finance, I was working with the doctors, come. Yeah. Committee. Uh, I was uh, also working in uh, purchasing medical equipment and also mm, medicine. So it was like a really big overview of the hospital. Right. So it's fair to say, from a young age, you were pretty familiar with the healthcare industry. And now, in 2018, you wound up moving to Canada. Um, what's the story behind that? Why did that happen? So that's actually a little interesting because uh, my plans. Uh, weren't like going to Canada the way I did. Yeah. Because there was a political unrest in Nicaragua in 2018. Uh, from that point, um, for a reason, we have to leave the country. Mm -hmm. Just for safety, you know. What it yeah. Is. So my family ended up in going to Panama. Uh, so I decided, you, you know, this per probably the perfect time that I can pursue this. Uh, get something new for me that I'm really excited about. So... In 2018, I ended up in Canada for, and stayed over there for five months. And then I have to Honduras when I work over there one year as a general manager of a small hospital. Oh, wow. Okay. During that time, I decided to save money and apply to study in Canada as well. So as it turns out, I applied. I got accepted to St. Clair College. And then COVID hit, so I couldn't move in my first year. <laughs> So you told me that you were actually, when you were considering, you know, pursuing higher education right after you moved, you were kind of torn between the culinary arts and biomedical engineering. Why was that? What's going on there? What are your two loves here? So I love to cook since I was little. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it was my, it's a fascination of mine. So I ended up teaching a lot of my cousins to, that they have restaurants in Nicaragua. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So. Because of the 2018, I needed to pursue, like, uh, because of the political unrest, I needed to pursue a, a status in any country. I just wanted to, you know, you need to feel, like, that safe yeah. in your life. It's a time of change. You might as well pursue something. Yes. And so I was like, hey, so I was living in Vancouver Island at that time. I was like, they have this uh, program mm -hmm. for culinary kitchen. I, and I love it. I just, like, I talked to a lot of my friends who were hard chef. Right now, and I was almost going into it, but then I was, I sitting uh, for some time, I talked to myself and I was like, you know, being in the kitchen is more about something that you enjoy, mm. but it's not something that probably I, I wouldn't like to pursue like um, in a day to day. You didn't want to make it your full time job. Yes. You might not love it as much. Yeah, This yes. is a common thing we hear from some folks. I want to go back to St. Clair College itself, because as some of our viewers and, and members might be very familiar with them at this point, Jim and James have been guests on this show. We, we talked to them as a, it's a, they submitted a bright idea for 2023. 
Uh, it's a really impressive pr program. How did you find out about it in the first place? So when I was, uh, after I decided to uh, study biomedical, mm -hmm. my thing was, um, okay, I can move anywhere. I, am, I have no option because I'm not from, I'm not from Canada, I'm not from the U.S. So it's like, okay, might as well go like a program that I may like. Yeah. So I went to every single biomedical program in Canada to see what their options are. And then I found Sinclair College. And then I saw the program. I love that they have like imaging classes, uh, dialysis, well, hands-on equipment. And I saw videos about Sinclair College and I used to like, you know what? It's wonderful. I want to get into that college. That's great. And so you've graduated from there since. Where are you now? What are you doing? So I graduated this past month. and I'm working in Nanaimo in the regional hospital that it's part of the island health. And you're still continuing with HTM? Is, is your day-to-day your -day mostly maintenance of devices, the management? What's going on there? Yes, yeah, so it's a maintenance of devices. I'm going to be working in the OR. Okay. So as I... As I'm just starting, so it's, uh, I need to catch up a lot and, you know, know how the hospital works. And Pursue some trainings. I, I'm, I'm hoping the scholarship will kind of help out with that. You know, that's one of the big intentions of the Michael J. Miller scholarship is, yes. you know, to kind of help you kickstart your career. So we're going to see what comes next with that. Do you have any big plans for yourself, you know, moving up in the ladder or anything like that? Yes, I, I'm thinking about going, uh, I want to get into imaging. Oh. So that's my final my final goal. Try to see the CTs, MRI, and hopefully, with this scholarship, will help me to get into that point and find some training. Hopefully, very very cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It was, it was good to get to know you and, and other scholarship winners or prospective scholarship winners could get a sense of you know here's the kind of young person that we want to see do well and 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 really engage with the HTM community. So. Uh, you know, thanks for sharing your story and uh, enjoy the rest of exchange. Thank you so much, Ryan. And thank you for the opportunity of being here with you.